Let's take a look at replacing the EGR valve, and we're actually gonna go ahead and replace the EGR tube on this 2001 Dodge Intrepid with a 2.7 liter engine. Now, the EGR valve itself is located on the back side of the engine, kind of mounted on an angle there. So we've got one big electrical connector, we've got two bolts where it's attached up to the back side of the engine, and then we've got a tube here coming off the passenger side exhaust manifold, gets bolted in there, and then we've got the intake runner tube where it's bolted on the top here. So we're gonna remove a couple of these bolts, and again, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the tube assembly here as well. It all came together, so let's go ahead and replace all the components as one unit. In order to do so, it's gonna be a little difficult to see on camera, but I'll do my best. We're gonna have to remove the air cleaner here, and then we've got a couple bolts here on the back side of each tube. Now in this particular tube on the driver's side, I'm gonna have to remove the throttle cable bracket because it kind of goes over the tube. But it's pretty straightforward. And so I'm gonna take, use a couple ratchet end wrenches or a couple sockets here, and let's go ahead, break these loose, and work on these tubes here. And then I'll pull the air cleaner assembly off and then that'll give us a lot better access to get down to the backside. All right, well, I've got the air cleaner out of the way, removed all the duct work here. I've unbolted those tubes up at the top of the intake manifold. And so now I'm gonna try and do a little freehand work here and get in and, and take you to the backside of the intake where you can see the EGR valve. And so, uh, there's an electrical connector towards the top here. I'm going to have to remove a locking tab and get rid of that. Then there's two bolts for the tube going to the intake, the tube which we're going to replace. Then if we look in a little closer, we can see bolts for the exhaust tube. And then off to the side is our two bolts for the actual valve itself, the bolts that hold it in place. So again, looking at the valve here, you can see uh, the electrical connector, see that top tube, you can see the two bolts from the bottom, and then you can see the mounting bolts here, which I'm gonna have to remove using a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet wrench. So I wanted to just zoom in and let you see a little bit of what's gonna be going on. Because again, if we look at it with a camera from the backside, there's not a whole lot to be seen here. So. I'm gonna hold my mouth in just the right position and get to unbolting this. Well, now you can see I got my old EGR valve off the vehicle and it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the bolts came out relatively straightforward. You always have to be careful of these bolts on the bottom side here that go through the exhaust tube. Now those can be a little brittle and, and rusted. So make sure to use extreme caution on those. And if you're struggling with them or you think they're gonna break off, Maybe try removing the tube from the exhaust manifold. If not, then it's time to call in a professional technician. One thing you'll notice here, as we look at the tube, the openings on the tubes here are quite restricted. And so this is why we we're setting our low flow code. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and replace the tubes without replacing the valve, it's a complete job. But I just really wanted to highlight the importance of replacing the tube here. You'll see all this carbon build up here. And so we also want to make sure that the passageways on the exhaust are clean as well as in the intake. Once those are cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead, install my new gaskets on the new valve here, bolt it up, and it'll be ready to go. Well, now you can see I've got everything reinstalled here as far as the EGR valve. Uh, see, I've got the tube a little loose here, and that's one of my tips, if I can pass that along, is don't bolt anything up solid until you get all the bolts started and everything kind of set into place. So as we come around the backside here, you can see where it's bolted in there. You can see down to that exhaust tube, get everything started. Those ones I've already gone ahead and tightened. I've remade my electrical connection. And so now, again, I'm ready to go ahead and tighten my bolts into the intake. Once that's done, I'll reinstall the air plenum here, or the duct work from the filter to the throttle body. I'm gonna clear the codes, 
and retest the system to verify that this thing is working properly as designed. I'm pretty confident it will. You saw how plugged those passages were and also the need to replace the tubes when replacing the valve on one of these. Hopefully now you have a complete understanding of the process and the necessity of replacing the EGR valve on a 2001 Dodge Intrepid with a 2.7 liter engine.